Hey everyone, welcome back to 9 to 5 Linux. If you are feeling frustrated with Windows, whether it's the constant updates, privacy concerns, or just want something fresh, you are not alone. With Windows 10 support end and Windows 11 pushing more ads and telemetry, many people are looking for alternatives. Today, I am diving into why Linux Mint stands out as the best distro for switching from Windows. I've done the research, tested it myself, and pulled insights from user experiences across the web and social media. So, let's break it down step by step, counting down the top 5 reasons. By the end, you will see why 2026 is the perfect time to make the move. Now, reason number 5. It feels familiar right out of the box, with a start menu that's even better. One of the biggest hurdles from Windows users is the fear of steep learning curve. But Linux Mint's Cinnamon desktop environment is designed to mimic the classic Windows layout. You'll find a taskbar at the bottom, a start button in the corner, and a menu that lets you search for apps, access settings, or shut down your PC, all with a mouse click. No need to dive into keyboard shortcuts if you don't want to. Users on Reddit and forums, like Linux Mint's own community, rave about how it's perfect for beginners. It's powered by the stable foundations from Ubuntu and Debian. So it's polished and reliable. If you used Windows before, you'll feel at home in minutes. But with extra perks like customizable panels and quicker navigations. Now, coming in at number 4. It's built on rock-solid foundations that ensures compatibility and stability. Linux Mint isn't reinventing the wheel. It's based on Ubuntu, which itself draws from Debian. This means you get a distro that's incredibly stable, with slower, more thoughtful release cycles that prioritize reliability or flashy changes. Everything from your hardware, like AMD, Intel, or NVIDIA GPUs, is supported out of the box in most cases. Recent reviews from websites and YouTube highlight how Mint runs smoothly on older PCs that Windows 11 rejects due to strict requirements. And if you tried Ubuntu before, Mint will feel like a refined version, tailored more towards everyday users. No maze of dependencies to worry about, it just works. Now, Reason 3 a built-in app store that's free, simple, and packed with alternatives. Forget downloading executables from sketchy websites or dealing with the Microsoft Store's limitations. Linux Mint comes with its own software manager, a graphical tool where you can browse, install, and update thousands of free, open-source apps with a single click. If you need an office suite, grab LibreOffice. If you want a web browser, Firefox is pre-installed, and about the photo editing, try GIMP. Even productivity tools like Thunderbird for email are right there. And for software that doesn't have a direct Linux version, there are often excellent FOSS alternatives. Community feedback on platforms like Quora and X emphasizes how this eliminates the need for terminals if you are not ready. Though learning basic commands can supercharge your experience. And about the best part, everything is free. No ads or subscriptions nagging you. Now, number two. It runs on almost any hardware, breathing new life into your old PC. Linux distros are known for their low overhead, and Mint is no exception. Official requirements are just 2GB of RAM, though 4GB RAM is recommended for smooth selling, and 20GB of disk space with 100 GB ideal for storage. That's way lighter than Windows 11's demands, meaning your aging laptop or desktop can feel snappy again. Users sharing stories on Reddit and YouTube, like one who switched after six months of testing, report better performance, fewer crashes, and no forced upgrades. Whether it's a budget rig or a high-end gaming setup, Mint adapts. Plus, as hardware evolves, Mint keeps pace without demanding you 
by new care it's a fresh start without the hassle and the final the top reason gaming on linux is finally a reality thanks to massive advancements gaming used to be linux weak spot but in 2025 and now in 2026 that's changed dramatically valve's proton a tool that translates windows games to run on linux has seen huge updates like proton 10.0 making thousands of steam titles playable with minimal tweaks from indie games to big hits many run as well or even better than on windows with certifications ensuring smooth experiences install steam via the software manager enable proton and you're good to go sure some online games with strict anti cheat still lag behind but the steam survey shows linux market share climbing to over 3.5% driven by the steam deck and better support some websites report ongoing improvements and user posts on x confirm it's viable for most gamers no more myths about poor performance it's here so how do you get started it's straight forward head to linuxmint.com download the latest iso i'd recommend the cinnamon edition for that windows like feel use a tool like rufus to create a bootable usb and boot from it and try mint live without installing if you like it the installer guides you through dual booting with windows or going all in backup your data first and remember the community is there to help via forums or reddit in summary linux mint offers freedom from corporate controls better privacy and a user friendly experience that's evolved massively it's stable customizable and ready for work play or anything in between if you are on the fence about ditching windows you linux mint a shot you might never look back so what do you think have you tried linux drop your thoughts in the comments like if this helped and subscribe for more tech tips thanks for watching see you next time peace out Thank <laughs> you.